One, two, three, four, five, six. You fuck. <laughs> your eyes pop out so far from your head. You killed me. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. to this week's reading vlog it is march 18th at like 10 in the morning right now in last reading vlog if you guys watched then you know that i've been trying to finish the beast player by nahoko uhashi and i had this goal to finish it yesterday but yesterday i was a complete mess and spent most of the day just crying in my bed um due to personal things that are occurring in my life but i think it's like kind of cleared up for the most part so today I'm a lot better have not cried yet makeup still intact it's a great time that's the plan for today I have about like 20 pages of this left I'm like praying I can just push through and finish it if you didn't watch the last vlog then you don't know how much of a struggle I've been having with this book but basically it is the most boring book ever but i told two separate publishers that i would read it for them so i feel kind of like obligated to actually do it because it's two different publishers if it was one i'd be like Neh. i can't do it but two i feel like i need to but we're so close to being done and i'm so excited to be done and then i have to read another review copy for one of the publishers i'll show you guys that book once i'm done this book but yeah, that is the plan for today. If you guys are new to my vlogs, then you don't know that I always have like an audiobook going with a physical copy. My audiobook for this week or as long as it takes me to get through is Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. So excited that I finally have a copy of this. Found out that it was on audiobook. So I was like, mm -hmm, we're gonna listen to this like ASAP because I unwrapped it in my last vlog and I was like, I need to read it. But yeah, I'm only like 30 pages into it. So I don't really have an opinion on it yet because like 30 pages in, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna like it. So far, it seems like it's gonna be pretty spooky and that's like my thing. So regarding plans for the day, I literally have none. Ricardo is working until six and then going to ramen with his work friends. I'm supposed to see him after, but knowing Ricardo, it might not happen. We don't know until it actually happens. So you might see him today, you might not. Other than that, no plans. It's now like five o'clock on Monday and I finally freaking finished this book. Oh my god, I'm just so happy that it's over. I'm giving it a two out of five stars, which I'm sure you guys weren't expecting. I'm sure you all expected that I was gonna give it a one star. It's not a bad book. It's just not my cup of tea, but I think a lot of people would like it, so I don't want to give it a one star because, like, it's not bad. It was just boring because I didn't like it, and personally, I wasn't into it, but again, I feel like people will like this story. So that's where I'm on on this one. So I don't have to deal with this ever again, which I'm excited about. But I started the next book that I'm going to be trying to get through this week, which is Unleaving by Melissa Ostrom. And this book follows a 19 year old named Maggie who was sexually assaulted. I'm not 100% sure if she was raped or if she was just assaulted. It doesn't say. But basically she attends college and she went to an off campus party and she was sexually assaulted. A lot of people hate her right now because the person who assaulted her is like a big athlete for the college. So she ends up moving away to live with her aunt in a couple, it's either states or towns over. I'm not 100% sure either on that aspect, but it's basically like her trying to heal from what happened to her and it's like her story. I'm only 20 pages in, so like I can't really say if I like it or not so far, but so far, I am enjoying it, even though 20 pages. I also listened to a little bit more of Saw Kill Girls, so I'm now like 75-ish pages into it, but I'm really enjoying it. I think it's like super spooky and I'm just like here for it. I'm probably gonna listen to a little bit more of that before Ricardo comes and picks me up. Apparently he's not going to ramen anymore, so he's just coming to get me, so I'm excited and I get to see BB. And yeah, I don't really know what our plans for tonight are, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna film anything. I'm gonna go listen to Saw Kill Girls and I will see you guys at some point later. I don't know when. Hello! <laughs> it's Tuesday. What are we doing, Mama? For a good time, we're going to physio. 
Which means Jay's Which, going to the thrift she, store. Yeah, she goes and, and goes book shopping and I go through paint. And then I come back and watch her go through paint and then we eat. Yeah, it makes everything better. But that's not what we're doing. What? We're not oh, eating? We're not eating. Ever? I'm hungry. <laughs> I have not eaten breakfast. You, you, it is 10 o'clock. You, you get up in the morning if we're not doing anything and don't eat on purpose, hoping that we're going to go eat somewhere. Am I right? If you could see my face right now while you're driving, what are you doing? then uh, are you doing this? We're doing the eyebrows. Point is, we're gonna go eat after. She thinks we're not, but we are because I'm gonna keep complaining until she gets me food. We're not. You want me to be hangry? <laughs> is that what you want? Is that what you want? Yes. Because you don't like me when I'm hangry. I don't like you. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm already getting hangry. <laughs> no food. <laughs> no, we are going somewhere, but we are not going to eat ever. This whole day. <laughs> the rest of your life. Ever. I'm gonna make you, what do you call it? A skinny legend? Skinny legend? That's me! Yeah. Okay, but actually though, like, are we. Are you, I'm actually, are you, like, so serious are you right into, now. Like, a nervous sweat? like my like, heart like, palpitations no, no right now. Like, I'm not sure if I can handle this today. I didn't prepare. We're going to the United States of America to get creamers and smoky bones. This is the best day. Canadians might not know what Smoky Bones is. Smoky Bones is a really good barbecue place. I'll film it. It's delicious. Oh my god. Five kilometers. Linda, I'm talking. I'm so excited. Mommy, are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. She's beauty and she's great. She miss United States. The best place on earth. Is it? Yes, in the States. It's so good, mommy. My meal's way better. Yeah. Another magical place that we don't have in Canada. Oh, love that for me. Are you excited? It's probably places that American friends are gonna be going, yeah, it's Target. Look, both my shoes are untied. Safety first. Good Look, tail. guys, I have bunny ears and a tail. Best day ever. The other best place in all of America, right? Wait for me, I have little legs. We have found a thrift store. Dun, dun, dun. That thrift store was a bust. And now we are going home. Nope. We literally bought food, Oreos, creamers, <laughs> crackers. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Yes, we bought no clothing this no, time. Bought... Oh, two tank tops. And a really fluffy. And a really fluffy sweater that's like the best sweater. thing Not ever. Fluffy, it's fuzzy, it's, it's cruise wear. It. I love it. So it's now Wednesday. I'm just waiting till 12 so that I can go to work. I have a training day for a workshop that's like working with kids with special needs because I work at summer camp. And so that's just like another thing that I can put on my resume and have all the proper qualifications because I've been working with kids with special needs for three years now, but I'm not actually certified. So you know, I should probably get certified. So that's the plan for today, but it's currently 11 in the morning and I'm going to read a little bit until I can leave for work. Update on the reading then, I'm 54 pages into Unleaving and so far it's really good, but I think it's really funny because they keep talking about being beside Lake Ontario and saying how clean and beautiful it is. And I live near Lake Ontario and I'm gonna tell you guys, like, it's disgusting. There's dead fish everywhere, there's garbage all over the place, there's needles everywhere on the beach and it's like it's the most beautiful beach ever we're finding sea glass and all this stuff and it's beautiful and I'm like y'all clearly never been to Lake Ontario and then I'm on like page 150 of Salt Kill Girls still really loving this I think it's like super atmospheric I'm loving the whole concept of the monster and all that stuff your girl likes monsters so hopefully I can get a good chunk of this done when I get home from work. Ricardo's working till 9 tonight and then I'm supposed to go see him but it's gonna depend on whether he's like tired or not so but yeah I'm gonna go make lunch because I haven't eaten yet and I work until 4 30 so that long with no food in my tummy is not a good idea so that's my plan for right now. Everybody needs to look at my cup. It says working hard to support my dog. Which, don't have. which I don't have, but the point is, one day, I will have a dog to support. Bibsy, what are we doing? Me? Yeah. 
Oh no. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> oh, what is that? You know what this is. What? Just tell them oh, what I'm doing. I would like to know what what is that? What is that? Oh, would it be would it be RuPaul Drag Race? Um, how do you feel about RuPaul's Drag Race? I would like you to repeat what you said to the viewers. What did you say? Oh, I said out of all the shit things <laughs> in our relationship that she showed me, <laughs> this is the best one. I would like to point out. So RuPaul Drag Race beats Mean Girls. What other thing? How many things have you? Monty Python. You know what? Yeah, I'd say that because. I think that Monty Python's humor is outdated. RuPaul's Drag Race? But like it's funny for like a nostalgic factor, not even a nostalgic factor, like you can watch Monty Python and be like, haha, it's pretty funny. Haha. <laughs> -ha. <laughs> but it's not that funny. Okay, but I would like you to say right now your true feelings about RuPaul. About RuPaul? Like as, a, as a person? No, no RuPaul's okay. Drag Race. It's very entertaining. Everybody is so over the top. Yeah! So. I think 100% what's keeping me on this show is the stupid puns <laughs> and the absolutely hilariously over-the-top sassy remarks. I've never seen such animated people in my life. They're all me, but more fabulous. Okay, but the point is you like it. So, converted, success, thank you. Say bye. <laughs> it's Thursday. What are we doing? Well, apparently we're going to Walmart. We're gonna go get me lunch for work um, because we have no food in our house. We have lots of food in the house. You just choose not, not that to. I can bring to work. You could bring any of it. You just choose not to. What could I bring to work? You could bring a pork, cereal. A pork chop. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> Ew. Yum. Yeah. Spontaneously decided that I'm going to clean my room. A lot of the stuff that's in my room right now is from when I was like in high school and middle school and just like I've never cleaned it up and made it more like adult, which like <laughs> my room is like a little kid room. I cleaned off the top of that bookshelf because it used to have like stuffed animals and like this little picture of me as a little BB. Look at that, I'm so little with Ariel because it's my mom's favorite picture, apparently. And I cleaned off that shelf, the top one. It had like a whole bunch of trophies, basketball stuff. Like I have a lot of like, you know, plaques and whatnot. And like I had a lot of like knickknacks, you see? You can't really see. And I'm too lazy to actually like show you properly, but I had a whole bunch of stuff on that shelf. Those boxes up on my wall there had like a whole bunch of stuffed animals and like pictures and stuff. A couple of pictures I'm keeping up so like I have like a picture of me and Eliasin if you guys remember Eliasin and then I have a couple like of me and my other cousin from when we were like tiny like look how little we are and then one of me and Abigail if you guys remember Abby she's my best friend. I'm keeping those kind of things and like a couple of my stuffed animals up here like everything else I'm shipping off to my basement because I just feel like I need a change. I also have like just a shit ton of stuff all over my floor. Like you see my floor, it's a mess. So that's the plan. I'm gonna move some stuff around and see where it takes me, I guess. We're on another adventure. I have a whole bunch of necklaces on my dresser, not my dresser, my bookshelf that are just like collecting dust. So I was like, let us hang them up to collect dust instead of just lying there to collect You're dust. You're just freeing up more flat space to be able to put more shit on it. Don't judge me. <laughs> My <Don't>. nose. <laughs> it's so itchy. Okay, you haven't been in that room but the whole just time. Walking I in did it. Like my whole nose is just like. What do you use as a duster? Sock. And when the sock doesn't work? A really nice towel that mom has. Yeah, my guest towel. That never gets used because we it don't does. have guests. When people come over, who comes when over? Use that towel because it has my initials beautifully engraved on it. I think it was engraved. A, you engraved the embroidered, towel. Yeah. Embroidered. <laughs> um, also, I think it was a wedding present. So, you know, it's just getting worse and worse for you for what you've And guess done where to, it's going to go? In the laundry. So who cares? It's now Friday. I started cleaning my room yesterday. And now I don't want to do it anymore. So now I have shit everywhere. Like look at all this stuff on my floor. Can you see that? And I just have no motivation to actually, you know, complete what I said I was going to. But I have work at 2.15 today it's 12 14 right now so i don't know what i'm gonna do because i don't want to deal with that that'll get done tomorrow maybe i don't know but update on reading i guess since i was cleaning like all day yesterday did not 
read at all. What I got to is 210 of Saw Kill Girls. Still loving it so much. I'm like halfway through now. Hopefully gonna listen to a lot of that tonight at work because I have to set up a lot of tables and chairs and stuff. And then I'm on page 64 of Unleaving. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done of this today. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like not in the mood to do anything today. So... <laughs> Life is grand. I'm gonna go lie in my bed. I'll probably update you guys tomorrow because I'm just like not in the mood today, so. Hello, it's now Saturday. I'm about to go to my work. We have like a meeting for RAs, which is my position, for two hours today from 11.15 to 1.15. Don't wanna go to this meeting. I think it's gonna be really dumb, but here we are. Why did it just not even be real? <laughs> Everyone just thinks it's real. It hasn't moved. It had literally hasn't moved. He's sleeping. I like how his hand is just like hanging there. <laughs> Eyes are closed and everything. Very cute. We came for the sloth. And the sloth. It's not here. And I'm so mad. How do you feel? Everybody needs the sloth. He literally just looks like a big booger. Sorry, what was that? Look at the gator. Her. Look. Ricardo, do not touch yeah. them. <laughs> You're gonna be going for a swim like you did in Peter Yay. in the pond. Be upset. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What day is it? Today is our two year anniversary. I put up with you for this long. Yeah, going on year three. Where do we go for dinner? We went to hamburger without the vowels in the word burger. Hamburger. So hamburger. H M B R G R H A M B R G R. Well, it was delicious. It was freaking unreal. He ate his burger in like 0 0.2 seconds, yeah. literally though. It was a quarter pound patty with pineapple something sauce, pulled pork, pineapple chunks, crispy fried onions, oh and cheese. Mine like, was just lettuce. Well, she doesn't like it. She, she's really weird. I'm not weird. Yes, I don't are. like okay. the buns on she hamburgers. She doesn't like... She literally eats burgers without the bun. Like, she'll have the whole burger, no bun, and just eat it with a fork and knife. That's not weird. So I got it with a lettuce bun, but it was literally just like a lettuce cut in half. I have a picture. Hold They're on. not going to be able to see it. But you know what? We can try. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Why don't you just send me the picture, and then I can just uh, insert it into this that, video, but you're going to... Yep. That. Okay. That thing. You had mushrooms on your yes, burger. It was mushrooms. called the magic mushroom. <laughs> I like how... What am I doing? Do you have anything else to say to your fans? <sighs> I love you. 
To your fans? That's so nice. No, not to my, <laughs> to my fans. Yeah, they all love you. They're always like, when you record, you're coming back. But they spell your name with one C, and it's really funny. Fuck up my name. I just want everyone to see what I put up with on a regular basis. A regular basis? Yes. This is like the first time I'm doing this to you. No, it's just you being an annoying ass. <laughs> but do you know what I can do? <laughs> I broke that plate. I would have laughed. Oh. <laughs> okay, I suck. You're such an artist. Wow. Serenade me, baby. Wow. That's how you feel? <laughs> okay, bye. Say, say, <laughs> close out my vlog. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>